All right, what is going on, guys? Cool, we're back again with another video on the channel, and today we are back on the Dragon Ball Legends video. And today we're gonna be doing a breakdown video for the boy Super Vegito finally getting his long-awaited Zenkai. Uh, can't believe that this day is actually real. Uh, I've been looking forward to Zenkai and all stuff. We do have his kit here, courtesy to my boy Miguel. But yeah, we're just gonna waste no time, just jump straight into the breakdown. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to down below and also sub to the channel notification bell to never miss out on upload on the road to 100 subs by the year. So hopefully, you can hit that. Without further ado, let's hop into the breakdown. So I guess we have his kit right here. So Super Vegito. So okay, so we're starting with his main ability. So let me just see exactly how this is formatted. Okay, so his first passive. Second passive, and then I guess down here is passive three and four, and then his blue card. All, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> all right, cool. So his main ability now, uh, actually. All right, I just want to pull up DBZ space to kind of like compare his kit, you know, before Zenkai to post Zenkai. So his main ability pre Zenkai drew the ultimate arts card, Spirit Sword next. Restore his own health by 30% and key by 50. He got 30% damage inflicted for 20 counts and he got level one card draw speed for 10 counts and he canceled enemy attribute upgrades as well. Uh, so now, okay, it seems to be the same thing. Wait, wait, how long did it last? Okay, so the 30% damage lasts for 20, uh, what? It used to last for 20 counts, I just woke up, I'm sorry. Uh, 30% damage for the 30 counts, so it, basically the amount of timer counts it lasts uh, goes up to uh, goes up by 10 now. So before it was it only, this only lasts for 20, now it lasts for 30, and same thing with the card draw speed. So that's all they really changed with the main ability. So nothing really, nothing really too crazy. But I mean, it was already a good main ability anyways. Uh, his first passive, so pre Zenkai, he got 40% damage of for 20 counts when he entered the battlefield, and then depending on uh, whatever card he drew. So if he drew a strike card, you get 20% strike damage of for 15 counts. Counts. If he drew a blast card, he get 20% blast damage. He drew a green card, he get 20% key recovery. And if he drew a blue card, he get 20% special move damage. So now it's literally the exact same thing. Wait, 40% for yeah. It's literally the exact same thing except the buffs just last for 20 counts each now instead of 15. That's it. And then ultimate art. Oh, ultimate arts card. Applies attribute upgrade minus 50% of the enemy sustained damage cut effects for 20 counts. Okay, so when he draws his ultimate, he basically like cuts through 50% uh, of the enemy sustained damage cut now. So that's the only new thing they really did, and then they just made the buffs last an extra five counts longer, which is nice, I guess. All right, so second passive, uh, he does 30% strike damage and flooded again to regen. He has a strike cover change where he can combo off with a blue card, and then he got 10% damage afflicted for 15 counts on every time an enemy uses an arts card while he's on the battlefield. So now, post Senkai, still does 30% strike damage afflicted uh, against regen, still has the cover change. Oh, it's damage afflicted by allies! For 15 counts when the enemy uses an arts card as character on battlefield. That's good. Because the buff before was just to himself. So now he's actually giving buff to his buffs to his allies. That's actually really good. I like that. That's definitely very, very good. Okay. Definitely not seeming anything too crazy yet, but but he is seeming pretty solid for sure. I mean this I pretty much expected this. As long as the stats go up like quite a bit. Uh, which we don't have his stats here yet. I'm, he's probably gonna be really good. Okay, so his third passive. So this is a Zenkai 3 ability. Positive fall effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. Restores key by 30. Randomly draws one new card when you have three or fewer cards and increases arts card draw speed by one level for 10 counts. He gets card draw speed every time he enters the battlefield. That's really good. And then he draws a, a new card if you have three or less, which is, I, I always like it when characters, they get key. They get a card guaranteed when switching in, and then the fact that he's getting card draw speed, I like this unique a lot. I'm actually, okay, I'm a big fan of this. And then passive four, so Zenkai six unique, uh, applies the fun effects to self when battle starts. 30% damage afflicted, cannot be canceled. Reduces damage received by 15%, cannot be canceled, and minus three to arts cost, cannot be canceled. Not really anything too crazy, but regardless, it's it, it, it's a solid ability paired up with a long, Paired alongside when I'm assuming he's probably gonna have pretty good stats. I mean, let me just check his stats like pre Zenkai right now. So, um, in case of uh, anyone's curious, I do have Vegito at 10 stars. So, this, this is what his stats are gonna be looking like. So, definitely not the crazy stats. I mean, we look at him at 14 stars. Yeah, stats definitely could use a buff for sure. So, we'll see exactly how they're gonna buff it up and all that stuff. Okay, so it's blue card. So, pre Zenkai is blue card. Did massive impact damage and restored 30 key activation. 
Still the exact same thing. Okay. And then his green card. Uh, pre Zenkai, reduced damage received by 20% for 15 counts, cannot be stacked. Gave himself 30% key recovery for 15 counts and nullified his own attribute downgrades under normal conditions for 25 counts, activates twice. It's literally the exact same thing. Oh, wait, except the damage reduction lasts for 25 counts now? Yeah, and then the key recovery as well. So they just made the uh, key recovery and damage reduction last an extra 10 counts on the green card, which is nice, I guess. And then his ultimate pre Zenkai. Dealt massive slice damage. He got 40% ultimate damage inflicted upon activation for three counts. He nullified endurance and had blast armor. So it's already a solid looking ultimate. And it is the exact same thing. All right. <laughs> to be expected. Okay, so it's a. Uh, wait, what? Purple Saiyans, you say? He's Zenkai buffing purple Saiyans. That is way better <laughs> that's way better than i thought they were. i thought they were gonna do purple fusion wear which would definitely have been solid for sure this gives them way more value wow oh my god that's actually good because then you like for instance i don't know let's say you want to run them on, on saiyans you put them as your leader slot and then you maybe you have another purple saiyan on the team or just in general you put him on, on bench on the saiyan team granted he's not going to be buffing the team with his actual z ability but that is really good okay that's why okay <laughs> that's way better than purple fusion warrior i mean i guess you have like downsides and upsides because obviously purple saiyans is a lot more a bigger cast of characters and and all stuff that you can buff but for instance he won't like fusion where specifically i don't know one character that comes to mind is this the original super saiyan go tanks um that came out a long time ago that he's purple but obviously he's obviously not gonna get buffed by this but if he was buffing purple fusion warrior he would have gotten buffed by uh, listen who cares about that go tanks anyways he doesn't even have zenkai yet okay then z ability also doesn't change he sounds pretty good he definitely sounds pretty good. Definitely doesn't sound like anything super crazy. They didn't really change too much with this kit. I need to see his stats. That's what I need to see. All right, well, I did wait a little bit for the up, for the uh, website to update. It actually did, so we can actually take a look at his Zenkai stats here. And they did put his whole kit here, so we can even take a look at it again. Just to kind of verify that, you know, that information is true, which obviously it is. Yeah, so definitely so far seeming pretty good. But let's see his stats. So uh, let's just put him at 14 stars. Zanka, oh my god, okay. Okay, definitely uh, way better than his pre Zank. Wait, what? Uh, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, definitely way better than what his pre Zankai stats were when we took a look at them earlier. So, 188,000 strike defense and 185,000 blast defense. He's a melee based character and he's getting that much defense. And then 288,000 strike and 263,000 blast. He, the, these stats are good. Where are they at? 10 stars? Because this is what I'm going to have him at because I have him at 10 stars currently. Definitely pretty solid. Like, okay, yeah. <laughs> his stat, like, you pair him up with his insane stats and then the fact that, you know, his kit, like, is honestly pretty solid. Again, they didn't really change too much, but he didn't really need that much anyways. And he's like, I like this unique a lot. So definitely expect a showcase on him. I don't know if I'll be able to get it out day one but we'll see obviously there is a there is going to be a battle gauntlet from so you will be able to get him up to uh to zenkai 3 just from beating that alone there's gonna be missions i'm assuming obviously for him i don't know if they're gonna put a z power in the rush metal shop they might if that's the case and honestly if i really grind i could maybe actually get him zenkai like tomorrow or something i don't know i'll try my best to put up a showcase on them whenever i'm able to so there's that but anyways hope you guys enjoy the video if you do make sure to down below and also sub to the channel notification bell to never miss out on upload on the road to 100 subs by the year so hopefully you can hit that also follow my twitter link down below at its corner three and i will see y'all in excellent peace out have a great one y'all